Hello and welcome to careerride.com. In this section I am going to cover Java tutorial. Java is a popular third generation object oriented programming language. It was invented in 1991 by James Gosling. Previously it was known as O. Java was developed by Sun Microsystem. Features of Java. Simple. According to development point of view, Java is simple to develop. and consist of features of language like c and c++ object oriented everything written in java is in the form of objects so java is truly an object oriented language distributed java is made for creating application on the internet and it has the ability to share data and code by using remote object that's why it is said to have distributed characteristics platform independent An important feature of Java as compared to the other programming language is that it is platform independent. Multi-threaded. Multi-threaded means ability to handle multiple tasks simultaneously. This means that we need not wait for the execution of one task before starting the second task. Robust and secure. Java is strict towards compile time and run time checking for the data type. It incorporates concept of exception handling and it also provides security for the threat and viruses. High performances. Performance of the Java language is very high due to the use of bytecode as an intermediate code. Overall execution speed of the Java program is very fast. Dynamic. Java is dynamic in nature and it is capable of linking to new classes, libraries, methods, etc. It also supports a function written in the other language and fetches the that function dynamically in a program. JDK environment, Java language, Java language comes with a number of classes, method variables, packages, and development tools. This all together is known as Java Development Kit. Java Development Kit consists of following things: Java C. It is Java compiler which translate source code to the bytecode format for the understanding of interpreter. Applet viewer. It enables us to run applet program. Java doc. Java source code file documentation which is created in HTML. JDB Java debugger. To find out the error in program we have to use Java debugger. Object oriented concept with respect to Java. Java is an object oriented language. This means that each and everything written in Java is in the form of objects and classes. What is object? Object is anything which can exist. For example, books, computers, students, etc. Object is property plus behavior. In Java, all the arrays and primitive type data are also available in the form of an object. Static variable and methods are written inside the class. An object-oriented language possesses the following features: classes and objects, abstraction, inheritance, polymorphism, and encapsulation. Java possesses all of them. Difference between C++ and Java. C++ is not purely object-oriented language, whereas Java is purely object-oriented language. C++ supports multiple inheritance. Multiple inheritance is not available in Java, but there are means to reach it. C++ supports pointer concept. Java does not support pointers. There are three access specifier in C++ that is public, private and protected. Whereas four access specifiers are available in Java that is public, protected private and default c++ supports operator overloading java does not have this concept constructor and destructor concept are available in c++ whereas java has only constructor concept destructor concept is not available in java java programming fundamentals java being an object oriented language two types of programs can be developed in it stand alone application and web applets stand alone application program which is written in java to complete certain task on local computer is known as a stand alone program web applets 
Applet is a small Java program developed for the web application and Applet is located on server. It gets downloaded to the local system before execution of the code. Comments in Java Comment is the description of features of programming code. Java permits two types of comment. Single line comments, multiple line comments. Single line comment. This comment is used for writing comment for single line by using double slash symbol. Multi line comment. This comment is used for more than one line by using slash asterisk symbol. Comment statement are enclosed within these symbols. Java program structure. General structure of the Java program is as follows. Comments for documentation. This section is optional and contains name of the program using comment. Package statement. It is the first statement used to declare the package name. It is an optional field. Import statement. Used to load another class in your program. It is an optional statement. Interface statement. It is same like class but contains group of method declaration. It is an optional statement. Class definition. It may be possible that a Java contains more than one class definition. It is an optional field depending on user programming logic. Main method class. Since execution of Java program starts from main method, main class contains object of the other classes and it is a compulsory field. Data types in Java. For storing data in memory, some memory location is required which can hold that data. Depending on the size of memory, data is classified into different data types. Integer data type. Number without fractional part or decimal part. Flow data type. Used to represent a number with decimal point. Character data type. For storing single character, we use this data type. String data type. It represents group of characters. Boolean data type. Represents only two values, true or false. Variables. Name given to the storage location is known as variable and it must be declared before using it in a program. Variables are separated by using commas. Each statement is terminated by a semicolon. Java is very rich in operators and maximum operators are distinguished in four types. Arithmetic operator, relational operator, logical operator and bitwise operator. Arithmetic operator. An operator which is used for the mathematical calculation is known as arithmetic operator. Relational operator. This operator specifies relationship between operands. Logical operator. Operator which uses boolean value and provide desired results. Bitwise operator. This type of operator is applicable for integer, short, character, byte. Keywords. Java reserves some predetermined Java reserves some predefined words for programming purpose called a keywords. Naming convention. It provides rules which must be followed by Java programmer at the time of providing a name to the package and class method. Iterative statements. Statements which execute any condition repeatedly are known as iterative statements. In Java, this type of iterative statements are called as looping statements. They are for loop, while loop and do while loop. Typecasting. Converting one data type into another data type is known as typecasting. Two types of casting are done in Java. Automatic typecasting and generic typecasting. Automatic typecasting. In this type of casting, lower type of data type automatically gets converted into higher type and results always in higher type. Generic typecast. To retrieve elements from collection, we have to use this type of typecasting. It manipulates group of data into single unit. Arrays. Arrays represent group of variable of same data type. We can use arrays for storing multiple values of the same data type. So rather than declaring a large number of variables, we can use arrays.
Arrays are divided into two types as follows. Single dimensional array and multiple dimensional array. Single dimensional array. It is also known as 1D array. It represents only one dimension, maybe row or column. Arrays always start with the index 0. Multidimensional array. Multidimensional array consists of two or more than two dimensions like 2D, 3D, etc. Two dimensional array. Two dimensional array are represented in the form of rows and columns. We can represent this type of data in the form of table. Three dimensional array. If you want to handle group of element belonging to other group, you need to use three dimensional array. String. Sequence of the character is known as string. In Java, string is both a data type as well as predefined class from the object class which is available in lang package. In Java, we can also call class as data type but it is user defined data type. Class and object in Java. Java is an object oriented language and without class, we cannot create object. Properties and behaviors are written in the classes. Class provides the packing to the variables and methods and depending on that, we can create an object. Access specifiers. In Java, there are four access specifiers available. They are as follows, private, protected, public and default. Private, it means that the member of the class are not accessible anywhere except that class. Protected, members are accessible anywhere but within the same directory only. Public, members can be accessed anywhere outside the class. Default, if any access specifier is not specified, then by default access specifies is default. Default member exists only in same directory. Constructor Special type of method available in Java which enables object itself when it is created. It is known as constructor. Constructor has following characteristics. Constructor name and class name must be same. It must end with the pair of round brackets. Constructor doesn't have any return type and not even void. Constructor may or may not have parameter. Constructor gets called automatically at the time of creation of the object. Constructor gets called whenever you create object. This means it gets called after every creation of the object. Constructor can be divided into two types, default constructor and parameterized constructor. Garbage collection. In Java like C++, destructor is not there, but memory which is allocated dynamically must get released and technique used to do this is known as garbage collection. When no reference to an object exists, then that type of object is considered as an object not required in the program and it gets destroyed by garbage collection. It executes automatically at the time of execution of the program. Finalize method. Sometimes object needs to perform some task after it is destroyed. For example, consider that some resources are held by some object and we want object must free the resources before it gets destroyed. And to handle such situation, Java provides option called as finalize method. Garbage collection runs in timely manner and Java runtime call finalize method. Inheritance. Acquiring the property and behavior of a class in other class is called as inheritance. In inheritance, new class can acquire all the features of the class from where it is derived. For incorporating all the property, we have to use one keyword known as extends. In Java, inheritance are mainly divided into three types. Single inheritance, multi-level inheritance, hierarchical inheritance. Single inheritance. In this type of inheritance, one base class and one derived class is available. Multi-level inheritance. In this type of inheritance, total three or more than three classes are available and each of them is related to its superior class. Hierarchical inheritance. In this type of inheritance, one base class is available and two or more than two classes can extend the base class. Interface. In Java, interface is also like class. It also contains method and variable with the difference that interface defines only abstract methods and final fields. This means that interface doesn't consist of the body. So the responsibility goes to the class which wants to use the interface. Remember, using interface, we can able to achieve multiple inheritance. 
multiple inheritance multiple inheritance means more than two base classes are there with one derived class to achieve this type of inheritance we have to use interface polymorphism ability to exist in different forms is known as polymorphism variable or method having different form is known as polymorphism method overloading method overloading means when object performs similar tasks with the use of different parameters method overriding when two or more parents and child classes contain method with same name and same signature it is called as method overriding nested and inner classes defining the class within another class is known as nested class scope of this class is within the boundary of original class only final variable we use final variable in front of variable to fix the value of that variable final method if you want to prevent overriding of the method then we have to use the final keyword in front of the method which you don't want to override final class if you want to prevent your class from being inherited you need to write final keyword in front of the class abstract method method without a body is known as abstract method and it always start with keyword abstract we use this type of method when we want it to perform different task based on the object called abstract class class which contains zero or more abstract methods is known as abstract class difference between interface and abstract class abstract class abstract class is used when some common features are needed to be shared by all the object interface is used when all the features are needed to be shared differently to the different object if abstract class is there then it is the task of the programmer to write other classes if interface is written then it is up to the third party how to implement all the abstract methods must be implemented in all sub classes all methods in interface must override all methods in implemented class abstract class contains instance variable interface cannot contain instance variable it only has constants packages package is the collection of class and interfaces in general term we can also say that folder or directory is also a package packages are divided into two types built in package and user defined package built in package packages which are already available in java are known as built in packages it provide all the informations about classes interfaces and methods available java is very rich in package by using classes it is easy for programmer to develop own application using in built facility of package for using package in application we have a keyword known as import and after that you have to specify the package name user defined package package which is created by user of java is known as user defined package it is also used in the same way like built in package using keyword import exception handling abnormal condition which occurs at the time of running the program is known as exception since exception occurs at the time of running the program so it is also known as runtime exception exception is also a predetermined class available in java exceptions are divided into two types checked exception and unchecked exception checked exception this type of exception is handled by using the code with the help of try catch blocks by the user this type of exceptions are extended from java.lang.exception class unchecked exception this type of exception is not handled by the user it is handled by the jvm these exceptions extend from java.lang.runtime exception class